What's good everyone? Welcome to part two of my DIY drawer system build. Now, if you haven't seen part one yet, be sure to click the link right here or in the description below. Pretty much in this video, we're gonna finish up the drawer system. So we're gonna go ahead and make the front covers, also the side flap and the pieces for the sleeping platform. So let me show you guys what we're gonna be using today. We're gonna be using these L brackets right here because I'm gonna use these to pretty much support the side flaps. It's gonna be using these uh, piano hinges right here. We're also gonna be using these uh, D-rings right here. That's gonna be pretty interesting. What I'm gonna do is probably I'm gonna get some electric tape and I'm gonna tape the hell out of this so to keep this from rattling. But this is pretty much what we're gonna use. If you guys are interested, link's gonna be in the description below. But um, yeah, we're gonna get on with the cutting, let's go. So we got all the pieces cut. The next step is to pretty much finish up the side pieces. I just pretty much did a rough cut because we're still gonna have to pretty much trim the edges to pretty much align with the side panels right here. My plan for this is pretty much uh, cut a cardboard version out of this to make a template. And pretty much as I'm gonna take measurements from the edge of the box to the side panels and pretty much create points. And then pretty much just freehand connect the dots and hopefully we have a pretty good decent template you know and then pretty much put the template on here and then trim this out with the jigsaw if you guys have a better method or you guys know of a better method please let me know in the comment section below but without further ado let's get started with this because i know this is a pain that's why i'm starting with this because doing this is pretty easy doing the cover and especially to cut around this latch right here it's it should be pretty easy i don't know so i think but we won't know until we find out all right, so I got a box from a birthday present uh, I got. Shout outs to Alex and Sherry if you guys are watching. Nothing goes to waste. I had a razor, but it would be so much easier. I'm too lazy to find it. Okay. We're already committed. All right, so the game plan, I got this cut out. Probably want to use a razor blade, not a scissors, because it's kind of a, a pain in the butt. But we're pretty much gonna, I'm gonna lay a ruler right here. I'm gonna line it edge. So I'm gonna put this template on the other side. And then pretty much what I'm gonna do is probably like every two inches, I'm gonna take a point from the side of the box to the, the panel, and I'm gonna mirror it on this side. And hopefully we can get some points. So I got my points down. Now we're just gonna connect the dots. So we're gonna work our magic. All right, now time to trim. Fun. Funny how I tell you guys to use a razor blade, but yet I'm still using a scissor. Trust me, it's definitely a lot easier with a razor blade. By the way, I am learning how to CAD right now. I'm actually designing this as we speak in CAD. I'm going to have him pretty much cut it out on his routing table. If you guys are interested, be sure to let me know. Hit me up in my DMs on my Instagram and we can work something out. Now, obviously, the one that I'm designing is going to be a lot easier to assemble than this. 
what I'm going to do actually, what I'm pretty excited is um, on the bottom piece, I'm pretty much going to create slots and then the middle piece is pretty much going to slot into the middle. So you pretty much don't really have to like figure out where everything is at and it'll be much easier to install. <laughs> see this fits. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's pretty darn close. What I gotta fix is, I probably gotta, I don't know if you guys can see, but I probably gotta trim this out a little bit. I mean, I think we're almost there. I just gotta fix this a little bit. See, I know I messed up already. I should have took more points around that part where it breaks and goes in to the curve. It would have made it so much more accurate. But, it's the first one, pretty happy. I think that's the cut right there that we need. This is the cut. It's pretty dang close. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Holy crap. It's pretty close actually. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna trim this a little bit. I mean, it's not the best, but get damn. I mean, obviously I probably just got to trim a little bit off the edge right here and make it like nice and straight. And I think I should be pretty good to go. I mean, let's look at the other side real quick. Holy shit, I'm so excited. That actually worked. I mean, look at this side, it's not bad. I mean, that is very acceptable. Yeah, I just got to make sure this is straight right here and maybe work on this side a little bit. I think we're good to go. Holy crap. All right, so I finished making the template for the side pieces. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can try to hold it up. Look at that. I also made a cutout for the, the cup holders right there. Pretty stoked for that. I messed up on this side. I did it on the back side, but... We will figure that out when we start cutting. So the next step now is to go ahead and trace this onto the piece, take out the jigsaw and then trim away. All right, so before we go ahead and trace it out, I'm gonna put masking tape on the part I'm gonna cut. And I'm gonna put the bottom side on top. So that means I gotta make sure I put my template upside down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply masking tape on where I'm gonna cut to prevent it from uh, chipping and also help me see my trace out much better. All right, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some of the, the long lines with a ruler. All right, get it all cleaned up. Now it's time to cut. Also, before I start, I'm gonna make sure to set the uh, pendulum setting to off because we just want the, the saw to go up and down. All right, so this is pretty much the cut. Definitely not the straightest cut, but I think uh, it'll work. But let's go test it out and see if it fits. Let's see. All right, so, I mean, it lines up pretty nicely. Oh, you guys can see. This is pretty much how it turned out. Pretty decent, pretty decent all the way around. I might clean this up a little bit, maybe strain this out, and I think we should be good, but. I forgot, we also got him to do the cutout for the cup holder. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get a drill bit and I'm gonna drill the corners out and then pretty much cut the cutout. So, be right back.
I don't know where we left off, but on this part of the video, we're gonna start installing the final pieces. So what I have here is uh, the front covers, the side pieces, and then right here is the sleeping platform. So I already did a cutout for the latches right here. If you guys are curious how I did that, let's, let's bring it back. I pretty much made cardboard templates for the corners. Right there, boom, kaboom. And then for this, um, let's see. I think I measured from up here to the top side of the rails to the bottom. So, so I know the measurements for the height. And then to get this one, it's pretty easy. I just pretty much measured from the center right here of this beam to the end of the drawer. And then for this side, this side is a little bit harder. But what I did was I did the same thing. I measured from the center beam right here all the way to the side, the inner side of the, the side panel. And then from there, I just kind of measured from here to here and I got the measurements and everything seems to fit pretty good. Boom. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna turn up the ISO a little bit. Boom. Look at that. That looks nice and clean. Pretty good, pretty decent. Not the best cut, I mean. It was my first time using a jigsaw. I went ahead and I painted the sides too. I used spray paint actually, cause I got kind of lazy. All I did was tape it up and then spray paint it down. But yeah, it's time to move on with installing the hinges. And then I think we are pretty much done. All right, so to attach the side pieces, I'm gonna use these piano hinges right here. And since I'm using half inch plywood, I'm gonna have to cut the tip of the, the screw a little bit, just so um, it doesn't blow out i to put this on. Just a little snip snip action. Alrighty, now time for the fun stuff. So I'm going to be using these piano hinges. If you guys are interested, links are going to be in the description below. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pretty much line these together. And I'm going to go ahead and put tape on it. Alrighty, so I got all my holes marked. Now it's time to drill the pilot holes. Now, time to install some hinges. All right, so I got the first set of hinges on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then we'll move on with the car. But before I do that, actually, I made these legs or whatever. So when it's sitting down, it has full support all the way around, but I'll show you guys once we get in the car. Alrighty, now it's time to install the side pieces. I got the hinges on this side now. Now it's time to drill some pilot holes on this and then we can install this. So let's get that done. I'm gonna need some of this. Ooh, so ran into a small issue. So what happened is um, this corner right here was pretty much scraping the side of the, the panel. There's a little bit scuffed up, but I went ahead and I just went to get my jigsaw and I cut off the corners and then now it fits a lot better. So now we can go on and install this. We are almost done with this. So the last steps is to pretty much attach the sleeping platform onto this and then put the covers on the drawers, set up the dividers, and then we're good to go. Um, I didn't film this, but I went ahead and I put on the hinges 
onto the sleeping platform already. Woo! Look at that. Pretty legit. So since I denibbed the the screws for the hinges, I forgot to um, not drill the pilot holes all the way through. So I did have a blowout on this piece, but still very functional. But yeah, let's get on with this and let's finish this. Take the tape off. And this is the little test. Oh yeah. This is perfect for my height. I'm about 5'10 and three quarters. Like just like it barely fits, but it will work. 100 percent So I see this way what happens. Oh yeah, we can sleep this way as well. Woo! Now one thing to really test is, will it fold? Look at that. So I was talking to you guys about the blowouts earlier. As you can see, the back sides, there's no blowouts because I didn't drill the pilot hole all the way. I forgot on this one, so there's blowouts, so I just have electrical tape for now until I figure out another solution for it, but it fits pretty dang good. Holy crap. All right, so I would grab this first. Bring it up, right there. Put it and grab it. And this one right here, bam. Wow, that actually came out pretty good. I'm actually pretty shocked. All right, so we got all the hinges in. Now it's time to put on the covers and I think we are done. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install the dividers pretty much. And um, I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna put them in between each divider and then they will slide in within the slots. I'll just lay it right here just to make sure it sits pretty flush actually all right we're gonna go with that we're gonna go ahead and clamp the other side down and then start putting some nails in there we'll do the same thing on the other side and then do the rest of it and I'll come back alrighty so just finished the dividers this is what it looks like slides right in Pretty solid. Do a little. Bam. So that's pretty decent. And I got my little table right here. It's gonna sit right on top. Boom. Now you have a table to, or at least I have a table to cook on, so. All right, next step is to now put this back onto the drawer and then we're gonna go ahead and install the covers and then we are done. All right, one of the very few final steps for this drawer system is to install this drawer covers for the, the drawers right here. So I did have to adjust this edge right here. I actually had to trim it a little bit because um, I didn't account for this door right here and it was hitting, it was barely hitting. So I had to trim a little bit off as you can see. This side is flush and this side there's a little bit of gap, but I think that'll be okay. But yeah, I'm gonna be using quarters right here to pretty much shim up the bottom and then everything should be pretty good. But yeah, we're almost done. Let's get to it. Get two quarters. Two quarters at the end. Bam. Alright, so we got the first one in. Woo! Pretty solid. Looking pretty good. This is what the first one looks like. Woo! God dang. 
Yeah, you want to be careful if you guys are using brad nails. Make sure you guys, your fingers are not anywhere close where the nails are going to go through because that could be very, very bad. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this one and then I think we are done. Holy crap. Did I do it right? Oh my goodness. Whoo! That was, that was kind of scary. But everything is looking pretty decent. I mean, from this angle, it looks really good. Um, I didn't go as crazy with the staple on this side. I just did one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. This I did like four, five. Yeah, I don't know. Alrighty, so I got the covers in, the sleeping platform, everything is pretty much good to go. And this is what it looks like. Dang. I mean, there's a, there's there's definitely a lot of imperfections, but it's mine and it's complete. And I can't wait to use this very, very soon. So this is what it looks like folded up. And then um, let's try it out. All right, uh, let's try to put my seats down. By the way, last night I went ahead and I, I got a little bit extra um, plywood and I put it right under the back side of the box just to give the sleeping platform a little bit extra support when this is fully down, but let's try it out. All right, so the first step is to bring up the sleeping platform and hold it right here. Now we're gonna go to the back side and we're just gonna grab it and flip it all the way through. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I'm gonna turn up the ISO a little bit. You see this? This is sitting on top of this. It's just to give it a little extra support. Bam. All right, time to test it out. So I'm about 5'10", 5'11". Oh yeah. It's like perfect fit. But yeah, I just need to move the seats up just a little bit and I can fully stretch my legs and just sleep. Oh, woo. You can definitely feel it right here. It's definitely a lot more sturdy than before. I'm glad I added that. All right, so I did mention that I was gonna install some D-rings. I'm probably gonna do that off camera. And what I'm gonna do is pretty much gonna drill some holes, drill, drill four holes onto the sleeping platform and then um, install the the d-rings right here but yeah besides that it's pretty much done if you guys enjoy this video please hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video next one's gonna be really fun because we're gonna 